This is a patient who comes in with some nonspecific abdominal pain and a CT scan of the abdomen is performed with intravenous contrast. As we scroll through this, we can see that there's a mass here in the left upper quadrant. Now it looks like it's interposed between uh, the stomach as well as the tail of the pancreas. If we look at the mass on the coronals, it becomes a little bit more apparent that it's likely arising exophytically from the stomach and growing downwards where it's intimately associated with the pancreatic tail. The mass itself is somewhat heterogeneous, has soft tissue attenuation, and internally, though, a little bit of lower attenuation associated with it. Now, the differential possibilities for a mass arising from the stomach, uh, you can think of adenocarcinoma, but this would be a very unusual appearance. Those typically manifest as areas of gastric wall thickening. Lymphoma may be another possibility, but again, this would be very atypical for lymphoma. As this particular mass is very heterogeneous. Lymphomas usually have a more homogeneous attenuation uh, prior to treatment. In addition, it also typically manifests as a region of gastric wall thickening rather than a discrete exophytic mass. Lymphoma is also typically associated with some adenopathy, which we don't see in this case. Now, the last possibility is a gastrointestinal stromal tumor or a GIST tumor. Now, these can arise from the stomach. They typically arise from the submucosal layer of the stomach and grow exophytically. They can have a heterogeneous appearance like this, and they are uh, essentially never associated with adenopathy. This was eventually resected, and this indeed turned out to be a gastrointestinal stromal tumor arising from the stomach.